Hi, and welcome to another Spurs video. I'm Ashley Miller with the Spurs program, and I'm joined today by Mary Hedengren, who is an assistant instructor here at UT Austin. She works in the rhetoric department, and she's also one of our Spurs instructors. Um, Mary, would you like to tell them what you study here at UT? Yeah, Ashley. I'm a rhetoric emphasis here, and I really like to study rhetoric of poetics, so how rhetoric informs literature, and also the history of rhetoric. Fascinating. Well, Mary's going to talk to you today about something we call kairos, which you're learning about now, um, or will be shortly. So I'm going to hand it over to you, Mary. Thanks, Ashley. Kairos is a really important concept. In fact, it's at the heart of a lot of rhetoric, and people have been talking about kairos for a really long time. Ashley, would you put up a little picture here? This is actually a famous picture uh, from ancient Greece of a figure of Kairos. And it was so famous that not only did people like to look at it, but they also wrote poems about it. This is the most famous poem. It says, who are you? Kairos, the all-subduer. Why do you go on tiptoes? I'm always running. Why do you have double wings on your feet? I fly like the wind. Why do you have a razor in your right hand? as a sign to men that I'm sharper than any razor's edge. Why does your hair hang down in front? For him that meets me to grab. Why is the back part bald? None that I have once passed by on my winged feet may seize me, even if he wishes to. The artist thus fashioned me, for your sake, stranger, and placed me at the entrance as a lesson. Thanks, Ashley. So this poem sort of tells us a little bit about who this strange guy is with the bad haircut and the name of the subduer. He's bald in front, but he's, or he's got hair in front, but he's bald in the back. So that means that when he comes by you, once he's gone, he's gone. And Kairos is the same sort of idea. You can think of the difference between Kairos, the opportune moment, and Kronos, normal time, in terms of a line. You can think of Kronos as being a straight line that goes all the way across, right? You start at one end, the years go by, the minutes go by, and you keep going. Whereas Kronos is a life cycle, and it peaks up and then disappears. And if you don't catch it at the moment, you miss your chance. Uh, Ashley, will you hold up this uh, nice little diagram? One rhetorician, uh, Gary Hauser, came up with sort of this model of looking at uh, the rhetorical situation or Kairos. It says that everything starts with an origin, when people start to talk about an issue. Then it becomes gradually more and more a part of our culture until people are really talking about it back and forth. It's a big deal. Then it comes to this little peak at the top. At this peak, we have to make a decision. Do we go forward or backwards? Do we seize this moment or do we let it pass on, something that's not necessary? After this moment, the discussion gradually disintegrates until it's no longer an issue. For example, you could think about the, you can leave it there if you want. For example, you can think about the uh, question about women's votes. It became an issue as an origin spot all the way back when we became a country. Who should be allowed to vote? It gradually became more and more of an issue, sort of climaxing at the beginning of the 20th century. Then there became the moment where things changed. Uh, the amendment was passed and women had the right to vote. Afterwards, even though some people still talked about it, the issue became less and less a feature of our culture. Today, there's nobody really arguing about whether women have the right to vote or not. Thanks, Ashley. So as you think about Kairos, think about how an issue goes through this cycle. And you want to make sure that when you think about uh, issues in the public sphere, you're focusing on that area where things are still maturing, where there's a lot of debate back and forth. It's at this point that uh, most people in the culture are more involved in the issue. After the moment of Kairos, you may not have another chance to put in your two cents and things might not be able to change again. So when you think about Kairos, think about grabbing that man in that picture for the hair at the front instead of when he's gone, because you won't have a chance again.